it's clear that to find yourself in the center of the storm, in the stillness of the center of the storm, take your place. That's you. You know, it it can be like everybody get into the, get into the the stillness of the center, but then you as a person take your place, your very specific, unique place to be in the midst of this creative opportunity. This still place, sometimes when we talk about the storm, the still place looks like the place you just go to get out of the storm. And I want to say it's the place to thrive. It's not just a place of safety where you find um, yourself protected from all these factors. It's a place to, to be and have it do this. <laughs> Let that still place grow because people are there wanting to hold a heavenly garden-like atmosphere where creation continues to happen, where powerful beings take your place there and engage. You're not there by accident. And when you're there um, and someone meets you, they can do one of two things. One is say, I want some of that, or the other is, I'll follow you. And oftentimes, um, people hear inspiring people thinking they've got it, I'll follow them, instead of they've got it, how'd they get it, and I want to do it. There's a poem by um, Robert Frost, and it it's very simple, and you probably all have heard it, but it's called The Pasture, where he says, I'm going out to clean the pasture, the pasture spring. I'll only stop to rake the leaves away and wait to watch the water clear, I may. I shan't be gone long. You come too. I'm going out to fetch the little calf that's standing by the mother. It's so young. It totters when she licks it with her tongue. I shan't be gone long. You come too. So while this is about Robert Frost's simple life, you know, about going into the field and going to get the calf, we can be in the still place of the storm and say, you come too. You don't have to watch me do it and be inspired. You come too. Let us do something there. Let us use what's swirling around in our creative field. Like the new things that are coming are going to come from what comes from what's swirling around. It's not all about destructive war. It's about juicy substance wanting to create. When you're in the still place in the eye of the storm, it doesn't mean you don't feel things. It just means you're there to receive them and do something creative with them, as opposed to be drawn back into the storm to say, I'll go over here and fix it. You can, you have very little influence out there and you have a lot of powerful influence at the still point. I know many people who have been um, um, idolizing people who said inspiring things to them. I think that's step one. Someone says something brilliant, you can look at them and say, God, you're amazing. But our job, if someone says that to you, if someone says to you, you are amazing, you can say, you come too. Because your amazing stuff is needed. 